We're back. I got my first. I got my first. Uh, my first Valentine from Roseanne Paulson, my audience member there. She wants. She wants. She wants me to be her Metro man. <laughs> All right, well, listen, the other day, this is, uh, we talked about this. The other day, we had a little bit of a, uh, a catastrophe here. The studio was flooded. And, and I understand we, we almost blew out the Super Bowl because the tape machines for the Super Bowl were downstairs. Yeah, it almost was worse than it could have been. The heck with Tony, the Super Bowl. Anyway, uh, but we had Paula Abdul here. And, uh, and, and as you know, we, we've sort of uh, uncovered the secret that sometimes we have to pre-tape people and then slip them into the show. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't fool you this time because there's no lights. Here's Paula Abdul. Door. My first guest, so excited to have her here. She's now in her fifth season as the nice judge on TV's number one show, American Idol. So far, there have been plenty of fireworks. Have a look. It says you can sing with your mouth closed. Let me hear that. Yeah, we oh might. Gosh, everyone's asked me to do that. Wow. So we, we might prefer that. Yeah. You know what? It's not going Tell great us. right now. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully, you'll like it. I sing and I sing. I begin Beautiful. That is amazing. Well, thank you. I've Beautiful. never met anyone who can do that. <laughs> Please welcome Paula Abdul. All right, cut the applause. There you go. <laughs> so, welcome to Tony After Dark. It's See, very this different. Kind of wild, I know. Very Thanks. different. Thanks. I'm sorry about the the lack of lights, the lack of audience. You know what? I like it. It's yeah. pretty intimate. It is very intimate. You look great. Thank you. It's going great, huh? It's been fun. It's amazing. You know, I was talking. You know, we had Randy on, and uh, we're talking about the the way it the way it's it started out. So it's like bigger than ever this year. I told you. I know you did, actually. I told you. Yeah. And I think all three judges, we agree that this is going to be the biggest season and the best because we have incredible talent. You think there's some good people there? Well, remember I told you last season what really bothered me was at the beginning of the, sh of the show, before it even started, Simon would be interviewed and, and you'd hear, Carrie Underwood's going to win. The I'd say, it, that's a vibe buster for America voting. Oh, Don't I Don't do so that. And it's not, but see, now... It proves how good they are because when you ask Simon, he goes, someone from the South. Yeah, he doesn't know himself, huh? He doesn't know because they're great. Uh -huh. And we have equal great males to great females. And it's what do you exciting. think about What do you think about that little uh, Jerry Springer uh, incident you had on the show? I, I call it that. By the way. Which one? Uh, I'll tell you which one it was. It was when uh, they had this... Uh, she was a heavy set uh, woman uh, in a sparkly uh, uh, oh. uh, halter top, or whatever you call it, and, and they had the bleeper. She, they yeah. gave her a lot of time, gave her a lot and of they time, gave her yeah. the, uh, the American Idol bleep thing that goes well, in front of her mouth. Right, it, well, also when she kicked in front of her. Right, right, right. So what do you think about that, though? Well, what do you, I don't do know. You, I, I just said, you know, God forgive me for offering her a drink of water when she said she was thirsty. Uh-huh. But what about the show, Paula? What about its effect on... I mean, you got 35 million people watching. I don't think they tuned in to see that, is I what I'm asking. Or did they? I or don't do think they? so. That's when I was watching, you know, although it was just me and my three chihuahuas, I, all three of my chihuahuas, and we all had our mouth dropped open. Yeah. I, I didn't know that that was going to happen. You didn't even realize that. I didn't know that she was such a big fan of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. So, I don't know. There's some weird ones, though. Yeah, it is. It's uh, sometimes I think you know, it's like okay, we, we it's such a big hit. Why don't we not do that also? You know, that kind of. Um, I mean, it was embarrassing, and, and and I don't think it was the best thing for people to see. There's a lot of kids watching the show well, as well. Well, you want to know what's amazing is that at the next day, the unsolicited love, and it was like young kids and parents were coming up to me, and kids were grabbing my leg. We love you, Paula. And it's like, that wasn't right. And oh, so it, yeah. it's amazing how much the show has affected people. And I think that we've gained more fans, young and old. Oh, no, that's what I mean, that's what I mean about young kids watching it. Uh, uh, so let me get to another thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, of course. And, and, and you're spending with someone uh, very famous, uh, am I right? <laughs> who are you spending Valentine's very Day with? Very tall man um, who I've grown to care about very much. Who is it? Who is this uh, this lucky gentleman? <sighs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> hey, wait, let me get you a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So I got my laugh button here. I like that. Yeah, that, yeah. Do it, it again. Great, wait, you wanna, look, hey, you want another laugh? I know. Ah, uh, never had it better. <laughs> never had it better. No, so wait a minute. Why Dr. Phil? Well, first of all, is it sort of like about love? We're going to talk about love? Is that it? 
we're talking about, well, he has a book out called Love Smart and, and Finding the Right Lover, Fixing the One You Got. Well, wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. What are you going to say? Well, that what it must that be easy for me, well, right? Well, first of all, it should be easy for you, but what, what does that schmo know about love? Why is he an expert on love? He's very, Dr. Phil's very happy in love with Robin, his wife, and, you know, Dr. Phil's a very, he's like one of those guys that, until you're in his presence, you realize how he's kind of like this magnificent kind of he really, guy. Yeah. He really is. I mean, a lot of people will say what they want, but he did teach me a lot. He did. He, what did he? Well, give me some. Give me a little. Uh, well, okay. Example. You know, this was supposed to be all fun and like silly, kind of goofy. Right, like, yeah. You know, next thing I know, I'm bawling my eyes out, crying. Yeah, go figure. Let, let's see. Let's see a little clip of uh, Dr. Phil. I charmed him. You nailed it. I nailed it. I mean, you did. All right, let's talk about Keith first. He sang to you. He made me forget that I was a judge on American Idol. And pretty smitten with you, I might add. Don't you think? I don't know. Don't make me answer that. He is a smitten kitten. Let me ask you about Hal. He goes, if you melt down and you got to cry, you cry. And you got my shoulder to cry on. And I went, right on. Wow. <laughs> a smitten kitten. He said, yeah, he kept saying that. Smitten right. kitten. Here, let me get Dr. Phil a <laughs> How about the, the new jewelry line? Tell me about it. I'm very excited. Um, it's, I've been working on this for a long time. You know, I give the kids on American Idol jewelry, and I give them, like, the first 24 will receive this star, and it says, reach for the stars, you just might become one. And each week I would give the contestants and the finalists all these different charms, as you can see, have to model. Yeah, do, 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 do. And there's, like, little sayings, like, there's a, roll, a pair of dice that says, take a chance, roll with it. There's a golden left. nugget that says, you know, no stone unturned to find the diamond in the rough. Peace sign. Find your inner peace. Be who peace. you are. Be that completely. Mm. And then, like, there's a key to success. Embrace your imperfections. And finally, QVC is, is embracing my jewelry, jewelry line, line and with my ear, the stuff that I designed. And I'm having a live show in mid in mid April. I'm launching my oh, line. Congratulations, that's wonderful. And Thank I think you. you also now. Wait a minute. We have cardio. Paul Abdu's cardio cheer. I know, I heard from your wife and kids that you've been actually watching and observing and doing it. Because it's not just about watching pretty girls. Those are professional trailers. But since you've looked at the DVD, yeah. you will know that it's a very difficult fitness tape. Yeah. And that's the first installment. And, and um, it's a great, if, if you're a So you got a jewelry line and a fitness tape. And then, wait, wait, there's, other, there's something else, too. There you have this, the MP3 player, right? That, that, look. Look, look, look. Check this out, look folks. This. The world's smallest, tiniest, it's Clegg USA. It's the mini MP3 player. It holds 250 songs, 10,000 pictures. I thought it held like one song, that thing. It's so 250 small. songs and 10,000 <laughs> pictures. Okay, and wait, let me get myself screen. a laugh there. Hold on. I missed it. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> uh, but wait a minute. Isn't it true that you brought one of these for everybody in the audience? I brought one of the Clegg USA mini MP3 players for everyone out Take there. Take a shot at the audience because look how happy they are. Look how happy it's the incredible. audience is. It's incredible. You're going to have yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, here, yeah, look. Let's get a laugh. <laughs> yes, folks. Uh, and, and you know what? When we, uh, we're we we're, we're going to give these things away someday anyway. We will. God, that's one obnoxious laugh in there that stands out. Let me hear. <laughs> the ah ha ha ha. That oh, one. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's my cousin Jerry. Anyway, um, <laughs> up next, you know, since, since tomorrow's Valentine's Day, you want to take a want to take a spin on Tony's Love Machine? Maybe I'll be successful. There we go. We, I'll show Dr. Phil. Well, next up, Paula and I take a spin on Tony's Love Machine. So we'll be right back. Tomorrow will reveal Tony's super secret mystery valentine. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh. I'm so embarrassed about that Cupid with my ear. Look at that. <laughs> oh, stop. We're back with Paula Abdul. And since it's Valentine's Day Eve, we thought we'd salute famous couples who've been married a long time. You know, a lot of celebrity couples, they do stay together. And we're revving up Tony's love machine. Here's how it works. You pull this lever, and my love machine will show a picture of a famous couple and another popular item. Then, our contestants have to guess which has lasted longer, the marriage or the other thing. Uh, Paula, tell them what they're playing for, would you? 
I'd love to, Tony. If our players win, they'll get the world's tiniest MP3 player from Clegg. Go to ClegGUSA.com. Yeah, and if they lose, you get a Tony Danza brand MP3 player. Look at this. It, it, holds, it holds up to 12 songs, and it's, and it's up to 45 minutes of music. Whatever. And, and since... And since, oh, but, well, it's, it's really terrific. Yeah. It's, 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 hard, it's hard to put it on that chain. But anyway, uh, because we have no audience today, we will be playing with some of our wonderful staff members. Let's meet our first player, my dear. Okay. And you, your name is? Karen. Karen Perez, yes. am I right? Yes. Hi, Karen. And what do you do on the show? Karen, this is, by the way, this is Paul Abdul. I, I nice work the audience. You too. You work the audience, yeah. right, Karen? Are you surprised he knows your last name? Because well, yeah, no. I'm on the case. <laughs> you know, I love okay. my staff. Okay. I love my staff. Okay. Would you uh, give it a give it a whirl? Right, and here comes the thing. Here we are. Look at that, baby. Uh -huh. Woo! Skittles or Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman? Skittles. Skittles. Is it Skittles? That would be right. Yes. No, no, wait a minute. Danny and Rhea have been married for 24 years, two years longer than Skittles. Have a wonderful hey, MP3 have fun. party. Thank you. Have fun. All right. You know, Karen, just for being a good sport, we're okay, going to give you a good you, one, too. Next, Tiffany, how are you? I am fine. Tiffany, uh, and your name? Your Tiffany. last name? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Love. Yep. Of course. Hi. That's Hi, Tiffany. Paula. That's, uh, that's Paula. That was funny. Uh, Tiffany Love. Okay, Tiffany, why don't you give us a... Well, wait, before you, what do you do besides wear this headset? I'm a production assistant. You're a production assistant? And yes. you do a wonderful job. Thank Tiffany. you. I mean, that, I really mean that. He tells me. He tells me behind right? the scenes. Right? Oh, I owe you. He does. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Hey, let's see. Who's going to show? Oh, long-time couple. Couple, couple yes. Tipper and Al Gore, or what is that thing? That's the Grimace from McDonald's. Oh, that's who that is. The Grimace from McDonald's, yeah. Who, who's who's last longer? First? Don't you look at Don't the Don't be ends. looking now. I'm Tipper and Al Gore. Al Gore, and a year before Grimace was born. They've been married 35 years. Woo! That's right. Hey, have a Clegg. There you have go. A Clegg. Hey, and you know what? You you know you want one of my MPT I do. players, I do. too. You know that. Just what I want. All right, next, next victim. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, are you sure you're supposed to be here? All right, good to see yeah, you. Uh, and your oh, name is Tommy Cruder, am I right? Yes. Pleasure. And you, you, you book our show, I right? Try to, it's yes. because of you that uh, Paula is it's even the here. only reason. Yes. It's really. Yes. And, and you, know, you know what? He greets me out in the street. He too. does a good job. I saw him running after your car. That's another thing. Okay. All right. Why don't you uh, give? You can use the love machine too, Tommy. Thank but you. Go right ahead. Thank you for. That's great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who do we have? We have. Oh, Whitney Ooh. and Bobby Brown. And the thigh master. I'm gonna go with thigh master. Uh, actually, the thigh master Thank is right. You. It came. Yes. It Even came I out in 1984, eight years before Bobby and Whitney got married. Now he doesn't get anything. No, I don't. Yeah. That's all right. Thanks, Tom. Take it easy. Okay. Okay. Keep in touch. He gets me. Keep it oh. oh. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. All right, come down. Come on. Hey, who's Nick? Hey, here's a Lazaro. Here's an Italian girl. Lauren Lazaro, right? Yep. Lauren Lazaro. What do you do, Lauren? I'm the talent coordinator. She's the talent coordinator. Another she, responsible she, party. She coordinates you. Did you, you coordinate my outfit? Yes. yes. And it's very coordinated, I might add. <laughs> Thank you very All right. much. Okay, so, Lauren. Okay. Well, and then, and, and, oh, go ahead, Lauren. Go ahead, that one. This is going to be a stupid question, so I thought better of it. Oh, one oh. of my favorite guys in the world and one of my favorite actresses in the world, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, oh. or. Penicillin. Penicillin. I thought um, it was Viagra. I feel like Penicillin? Penicillin, but not by much, you know. Oh. Penicillin, uh, uh, let's I'm glad they're probably no, really, happy to hear Paul that. And, and, and not Paul, by much. Paul and Joanne have been married almost, almost 50 years, 48 years they've been married. And how long is penicillin? 60 years. Really? 60 years. So here's your, Yay. here's your Clegg, uh, your Clegg and your, and your MP3 oh, player that Tony Gee, which one is she going to play? Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. I think we have one more contestant. The lovely, Hi. the lovely, lovely Christine. Hello. Christine, Hi, how are Hi, you, Christine. love? Nice to you? meet you. You too. Well, what do you do here, Christine? Associate producer. Associate wow. producer. Wow. We're moving up the chain. See that? <laughs> wow. I might want your job. All right. You can have mine sitting next to Simon. Switch. Uh, the, uh, you know what? If, if, if Christine wins, the whole audience wins. Oh, there's no audience. Okay, go right ahead. I'm going to be generous. Who do we have? Oh, oh look who it is. Is that, is that who it is? Is it, it's, it's Paula Abdul and Simon Cowell or TiVo. What do you think? She yeah. go with Paula and Simon. You win. How about that? We don't care. We're just going to let you have that. Excuse me, honey. That lasted one second, if that. All right, look, and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, this thing even has a handle. Very nice. Very Thank nice. You. Okay. Well, look, how about the love machine? I huh? get, it's wonderful. It's, you think it's, Dr. Phil? Hey, by the way, you know, Dr. Phil one, is here. That, I know, he came to visit you. Check it out. Look, there's he, Dr. Phil. He's scary. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's like I, I, I've seen enough of you. <laughs> I'm a, only kidding. That's actually Paul, my, uh, my, uh, my bodyguard. Good name, Paul. He will kill. He takes <laughs> care of me. Okay. He will kill Tommy. 
I want to thank you for uh, thanks for playing, by the way. And You're American welcome. Idol airs Tuesday and Wednesday nights on Fox. Yes. And congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, very we'll be right back. This week, Tony tackles Everest. 